I'm Nicole. And we're former WWE Divas champions, the Bella Twins. And this is our first workout with Celebrity Sweat. So come follow us and see what we're gonna do. That's come right. on, don't be scared, let's go. All right, Sabrina and I just got done with our 20 minute warm up, and now we're gonna do four lunges with our 10 pound medicine balls. So, all you do is put this here. Now we're gonna do 50 up and back, 25 each way. And if you can't make 25 forward, well, then you go four times, but whatever you do, get to 50. Right. So, ready? Very important to go all the way down and do not let your knee go over your feet. It's going straight down and that's where you really feel the burn, your hamstrings and in your butt. As well as having the weight, the medicine ball, you feel it more in your core and your abs. And just know if you feel any pain in your back, your positioning is wrong. So reposition yourself because you don't want to hurt your back. But ladies, if you want to look good in that bikini, get them legs and booty up and tight. Nikki, you're our counter, right? Yep. Bear and back one more time to make sure we get 50. Let's go, Brie. Already, you'd be feeling the burn here. Yes. <laughs> I can tell Brie got quiet. I know she's feeling the burn. I am feeling the burn. Okay, Brie, one more lap. That's all we got. Our next set of lunges we'll be doing, I know you thought they were done, but they're not, is we're gonna be working the side into the glutes. So we are going to do a lunge, like a normal one, but you're gonna cross over like that. So you feel it right through here. And you're gonna go left, right, left, right. Make sure to really take your time on these. Very easy to lose your balance, so just take your time, have control. Here we go. And 50 of these, right? 50 of these. And just like the lunges before, make sure your knee doesn't go over your foot. Make sure you don't feel any pain in your back. You should feel it in the side of your leg and to your butt. Those saddlebags that men call them for women, well, these take them away, so. All right, don't try to take a break here. Keep going, Mama. Dang it, Nicole caught me. But see how we're just taking our time and really getting into that lunge. It's where you get the best, you know, when you feel that burn. I'll tell you what, it's a good booty thing. Ready, buddy? Two more. Let's go. And the one thing Nikki and I haven't yet said is now you're starting to feel it in your arms with the medicine ball and holding it, which is great. And here in your abs, if you really just tuck the abs in, you'll get that burn. So, very important. As I drop my medicine ball, ready, Bird? Best thing, this workout you can do when you're on the road. Your hotel room, outside in your yard. You don't have to have a gym membership. At your school, you have a break. Go to your gym. And yet you're getting a full body workout as well. That's good for lunches. So now we did.
did our lunges, and now we're gonna come over. You wanna find a bench or a step, and we're gonna do mountain climbers for one minute. Now, a good thing about mountain climbers, it's like a total body workout. Not only do you feel the burn in your thighs and in your booty and your abs, but you also get a great workout in your shoulders and in your arms because you're holding yourself up. And I know you all work out with your phones because of your music playlist, so get your phones and time yourself exactly for a minute. Sabri, you ready? I'm ready. All right, go. She's basically like doing a run in place. You just want to keep going as fast as you can for a straight minute. ball because that will also work out not only your thighs but your abs at the same time. So these are called chest flies. So start flying Brie. Yeah we'll show first how my arms should be. Okay. We're gonna do 12 of these. So she's gonna start here out and then she's gonna bring them together. Perfect. Even. <laughs> See this is when it's fun when you can laugh at your you know workout partner as they're working out. So and she, she brings it perfect. You don't want to go down too far. That's about perfect in there. So you don't you don't want to pull your shoulder out of the socket. Oh, there you go. And only do a weight. Don't go too heavy. We might have to move down to five pounds. Just kidding. But even see, you know, if she's working this out, see how her out muscles are working as well. How many more? You're just doing twelve. My abs, I pull them in so that they're working as well. Yeah. See, and this is why it's so important to have a workout partner because you're always here to assist each other because, believe me, it gets rough. Right, Bree? Yes. Is that good? That is good. One more. And 12. Now what you'll do is you always grab one, a weight that's a little bigger because then that's when we go straight into triceps. So, Bree just finished her chest flies, so now she's going to set down her smaller weight. She's going to pick up this bad boy right here. Now we're going to work on some triceps. So you're basically, you're staying in the same exact position. Now we're just working over our head. She's going to take the big weight. And right, she keeps these arms in the same spot and she just works from the elbow down. And again, this is why it's good to have a workout partner because you could really hold it for them and they really get that really good workout. Feel that, Bree? I can feel it. And again, just do 12 of these. So 12 reps on the arms. Set the biceps, that's 20. Two more. Two, nice. Perfect. It's nice to have Nicole around because when I get really exhausted, I get a little messy. Feel the pain is squats and the legit normal style squats except we like to do it with the medicine ball because once again in all our exercises you realize we like to work the abs and we like to work the arms as well as we're doing our legs so Nikki's gonna show you make the medicine ball your best friend besides your workout partner because 
does a lot of wonders, let me tell you. Yes, it does. And the biggest problem people do when they're doing squats is they stick out their butt or they put their knees over their feet. So Nikki's going to show you a proper squat. And we know I how love squats. Yes. When you know how to do a proper squat, you really see a difference in your legs and your butt. So yes, we're going to do 20. And this time I'm going to work. I'll go real slow just for break. And you notice too that Nikki puts a lot of her weight in her heels. So you see your feet come up, which really helps you keep your balance and keeps your position really, really good. You feel a burn, girl? No. I can see her legs shaking, which they should be shaking by now, honestly, with all we've been doing. There you go, Nicole, it's good. And you can tell too, she controls her breathing. That's why she's not doing any talking. So, breathe in through nose, out from the mouth. <laughs> Always remember to breathe, okay? We don't need anyone passing out. Ready, boys? Just kidding. Here we go. When you're feeling it, you know, you gotta, you gotta get into it. <laughs> so, you should definitely be breaking out in a sweat by now. Yes. So our legs are on fire, so now we're gonna make our arms on fire. Yes. So, so Nikki, will you explain what we're doing here now? Yes, now we're working out our biceps. So go find a barbell, get some weight on it. I'm doing 30 pounds, Bree's doing 20. Don't do too, anything too heavy for you. We're gonna pick these babies up and we're gonna do 20 of them. Yes, one thing personal trainers will always fight me on is they always want me to do more weight, you know, because they always say, you know, a lot of heavy muscles, weights will build my muscles, but I like to stay small, so I do more reps and I just go light. So don't be afraid to go light, it's still working out. Ready? So 20. And always kind of bend your knees, be in a squat, it's safe for your body and for your back. You never, ever want to have your legs straight because of your knees. Make sure, too, your tailbone's tucked in. Keeps weight off your back, which you don't want to hurt your back. One thing people would used to always correct me on was always sticking out my butt. So I always make sure to tuck my tailbone in. 20. Woo! You definitely feel the burn here. That's how you get these, okay? That's where you feel the burn. Too. What was that, Bree? So I got some too. So what Bree and I like to end every workout with is abs. And we like to do 300 abs. So you should always end all your workouts personally, we think, with abs. So make sure you grab your medicine ball again, have that to the side. But first we're gonna start off with 50 regular abs that we know you all know. So lay back, put your legs up in the air, and let's get 50 going. Something I like to do is hold the ball up as I do it, just so I can get a little more of an arm workout as I do it. And that means I gotta join her. Ready? So either way you wanna do it. Ready, Brie? 50. Halfway there. Feel the burn. Ten more. I'm already at 50. I think someone cheated. All right, ready for some bicycles? All right. Now to get to that 300, we're going to be doing now 50 bicycles. And I know you all know how to do that. You've all ridden a bike. I'm sure you've seen these before. So it's basically, we'll be alternating our legs like this. And as your left leg comes up, your right elbow 
We'll hit that. And then vice versa. Right leg comes up, left elbow. Just switch it. Ready? Okay, 50. It's not about speed on here, it's about slowing, you know, really working the abs. Always be breathing. Always breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. And always remember to breathe while you're doing abs. It's very easy to hold your breath. How many more do you got? All right, so now we're gonna be doing 10, what we like to call folds. These really work your abs, but not only do they work your abs, they work your legs. Make sure to keep your legs very, very toned in this exercise. Ready, Bree? I hate Ten. these. Okay, ready? <laughs> Put your arms over your head and touch your feet. Go. All right, feel your guys' pain. I'm right there with you. <laughs> I'm dying. And now all we have left to hit that 300 is 40 more abs. And so that's when you're gonna pick up your medicine ball. Pick your medicine ball up, Breezy. And you're gonna balance yourself. And this is straight core workout. You are gonna flex those abs and hold yourself up and balance. Get the feet off the ground, and you're gonna touch each side with your medicine ball. So go one, two, and go up to 40. It's gonna burn, but you're gonna love it. I say Nicole should do 50. I'll do 40. Fine, game on. Ready? Yeah. Okay, one. about one our ab work it as once again you can do it in your hotel room you can do it at home you can do it anywhere all you need is the motivation and yourself and you got it every night before you go to bed if you could just do 150 abs in 20 push-ups in 20 push-ups I can guarantee you in a month and a half you'll be emailing us and going my body looks amazing we have done it and it's insane the result yes. just 150 abs in 20 push-ups every night before you go to bed. It's just like wash your face, brush your teeth. And I know you think now this is the end of the workout. Okay, we just finished the abs. I got my sweat on, ready to go. It's not how Basis Boot Camp works. It's not what we do. You gotta do everything all over again. Yes. Everything we do, we always do it twice. Double trouble. That's so, right. Get back to those lunges and start having some fun. <laughs> The best thing about Bezos Boot Camp is I get to do it with her. We're always in two and we do it together, which makes it so much fun. Definitely. It makes working out almost like a social event. So I always recommend you have a fun partner, like a sister, a best friend, or somebody yeah. to do a workout with your Definitely brother. Definitely have a workout buddy because you know what? It makes your workout a lot better. It makes it feel like it goes by faster and it makes it a lot more fun. And in the end, that's what we all want to have is fun. Yes. Let's make this fun. So find that workout partner, trust me. It could be gossip hour and workout. Like it. <laughs>
Make sure to cool down. Do not just lay down after a workout. It's hard not to. Okay, let's go cool down. So part of our cool down is stretching. Um, after everything we've done, it's very important to stretch because you are gonna be tight tomorrow and a little sore, but let's just really stretch it and loosen it up. So we're gonna be stretching a lot of our legs because I know your legs are burning. Right, Bree? Yes. Definitely stretch for 10 minutes. It's very important every body part that you stretch that you really just sit in there for like a good 30 seconds or a minute. Um, it should never be anything too quick. You know, like they say, it's important not to only warm up your muscles, but to pull them down, really stretch them out. Because you don't want to pull muscle, you don't want an injury. How are you supposed to chase all the boys on the beach if you have an injury? <laughs> that is true. Make sure you stretch every body part and muscle you worked out. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed our edition of Celebrity Sweat. That's right, this workout you can take on the road or leave it in the gym. So we hope you felt the burn and got your sweat on. That's I know we did. Right. So keep rocking those bodies and keep checking us out at csweat.com. Until next time. <laughs>